What's up guys? So I'm starting up YouTube. So I got my dream car for my 16th birthday early gift. I got a surprise. So we have the RSX, you know, we've been building that for quite some time. You've seen some videos posted on my video on our channel. Um if you look here, these are the wheels I will be going on. I gotta get some new tires. There are they are Tenzo type R wheels. So um so if you look over here, I did some work already. I should have filmed it. Um I cleaned the engine bay up. Got a nice um broke a little hose off. That goes to the turbo um, in leak. So hey, I gotta I get that fixed. You guys a new shampoo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's to fix your folliculitis. Not herpes. Anyways, back to the video. So what I was talking about, what I was talking about before she interrupted, didn't pretty much ruin the video. Um, yeah, I cleaned this up. Um, I messed up with the turbo inline, like a wire broke off, so I'm gonna have to get a new one, which is good anyway, because. Over by the turbo, the rubber's pretty much burned to a crisp. Um, so basically, um, we did throw on the original hood because we got the carbon fiber hood that's over there. Um, we got the carbon fiber hood that's over there. It's cracked, so we're gonna fix the clear coat. Currently, right now, it's a little dark out. Um, I'm taking the chairs out so we can detail the car. It's a pain in the butt. Um, I had to take this one over because there's a retaining wall over there. So yeah, after we get these out and get the light in, I'll get right back to you and we can resume the video. Okay, so basically guys, just a rundown of the video. Um, the car came with two sets of floor mats. So I have the weathered floor mats and then I just have the regular summer floor mats I'll be doing. We pulled both seats out. Um, I have a Momo Italian edition steering wheel. So I will still have a Momo steering wheel. We got to keep that going. Um, so just while, while you're here, we're just going to take a good look. Um, just so I give you the rundown inside. So basically I have I uh, I have a five-speed manual transmission with the turbo stock. Um, it's got the boost gauge. It's got the original Momo steering wheel, everything on it. Now, the whole car is stock, so there's been no performance upgrades. Everything is the same. And so, you guys will be seeing a lot of videos coming of me building this car. Another thing you'll be seeing in the video, if you look down at the wheel wells right here, they're pretty inside, you know. You can't have a car the tires hiding inside because it doesn't look aggressive. I mean, come on. It's like someone's tucking the wee-wee between their legs. So you gotta have them sticking out a little bit. No problem. No worries. We got some spacers in the garage. Don't worry about it. You'll see it in the video in the next clip that uh, the, the clip showing me putting them on. That'll probably be in the morning, so when the camera shifts over, it'll be another thing. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so basically we're just finishing up uh, drying this carpet, you know, getting it all shampooed, nice and conditioned, cleaning it, you know, getting it back to normal detail. Um, so basically all we're gonna have to do is we're gonna put the seats back in, you know, get that Momo steering wheel put in, that quick release, cause it's very important. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right. Recording? <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished the carpet, putting the seats back in. Um, next thing to do is put the steering wheel in, and I'll see you guys over there. Um, there's someone I want you guys to meet. This is my sponsor. He pays for everything, including the car. <laughs> All right, guys, it's day two, so it's in the morning. Um, I had a uh, close-up shop last night because it was getting a little late. Today, the game plan is gonna be we're gonna put in the quick release steering wheel and then we're gonna put the spacers in. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll show you guys the finished result. Thank you, see you in the next clip.
So I just got the uh, the OEM wheel off, and I'm gonna be putting on this quick release one. It's gonna be sweet. That's gonna be great. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Here we go guys, it's on. So now that we got the quick release steering wheel on, um, we're gonna go ahead and get in putting those spacers on the rear tires and on the fronts. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. so we just finished up doing the rears it looked pretty good to me we'll make sure we put a before and after um so now let's just get after these doing these front ones it was actually really simple to do that one so it looks pretty good i mean it's not sticking out but it's it's right there and it's not gonna look stupid like it's in some high heel sticking all the way in there so it's pretty good Um, these are going to be the spaces that we're going to be putting in the front. Nothing too far. Um, I didn't I forgot I didn't get a half. Uh, these are just quarters. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe doing uh, three quarters in the back, maybe. I got one of these maybe later on. I'm not going to talk to my dad still. But yeah, these are going to go in the front. It's just going to be one of them. So see you over there in the next one. So unfortunately we ran into a problem. Um, these discs are not gonna work these spacers um, because the thread isn't long enough. So I guess we're gonna have to run to AutoZone or Advanced Auto and uh, get us another one. So AutoZone, they were being difficult. The guys being difficult on the call. So we just hit up Advanced Auto and we're just gonna head over there now, um, pick up some spacers for the front. Maybe if they have bigger, thicker ones, we'll probably put those in the back and just swap the, the thinner ones to the front. So we'll see you guys there. What's up guys, so we're on the way to Advance Auto. Uh, I just wanna talk about some ideas I have for the car. Um, if you did not see my live, that was just recently, I posted that last night. Um, we were just talking about future of the uh, future of the channel. The future of the channel is um, just us working on the car. It's all stock, so like I said earlier, um, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities and a lot of things that need to be done on the 
car. So basically, I'm gonna put like bronze wheels and etc. Um, it's gonna look sweet. Uh, I think my my theme is gonna be all black. I'm gonna get some halo headlights and uh, yeah, the tent's really dark in the back as well. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. We're on our way there. Um, we're just driving in our beater. It's a Honda Accord. Uh, it's got a VTEC in it, so um, it's also got an aftermarket intake. It's pretty fun to drive around. Um, that's what we've been driving for right now. Uh, I also got to get a uh, turbo inlet so I can uh, start driving. I think I might go Cobb or uh, Mishimoto. Mishimoto is probably a great build to go. I don't know if I'll do a front mountain or cooler one day, but I think I'm going to keep it top just because the turbo and uh, the flow and spacing. So um, I'm going to run into Advanced Auto and I'll let you know when I get there. Um, so fortunately we went to AutoZone and they didn't specify, I mean Auto, Advanced Auto, they didn't specify enough on the call that they were universal ones and they were like super thin. Um, so I was not about to spend 21 bucks on something like that. Um, so I'm just going to have to order some or I'm going to come over here and take some off of these front tires. Hopefully they're the right ones. And I think these ones are a little thicker. The ones we have in there, so I'll probably move these ones to the rear and then move the ones that are on there to the front. And that's all for us. Okay, so I got some bad news, guys. Um, I didn't, I didn't have um, any more spacers in the garage, and those spacers are going to be a little bit too small to fit on there. So uh, might, we're going to order some tonight. Hopefully, these will come in soon. That will be a separate video of the whole finish based out. Um, I kind of got an idea going, but I don't know if it's going to fly because uh, you do need a cob tuner so like an access port um that's mostly what you run in SCIs with aftermarket intakes just so you don't blow them up um i think i'm gonna take this out put it in the cord the cord has an S, uh wrx and taking it we just zip tied the sensor just so it would run so i might throw that in here and then try to see if this will fit in there it's kind of dumb but who cares i want to hear that turbo go <laughs> so um hopefully another idea is buy another blow off valve so i can hear that that you know what I'm saying? Um, that's pretty much it for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to get you guys with a video of us driving the cars around. Um, hopefully, yeah, I'll do a video of us driving side by side. Get this bad boy running. You can hear that beat tech. So, um, thank you guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Um, if you're new, my name is Chris. Cameraman is my brother, Kevin. And uh, turn on the notification button. You know, it helps get new updates and new videos. Thank you. You guys have a nice day. Stay safe and enjoy the warm weather.